Good morning, good morning. Hey you guys, I might set up um, Facebook Live for those that maybe aren't on. Good morning. Hi Angela. Hey Jackie. Hey Keely. All the girls are on. Love our topic this morning, you guys. Hey Sarah. I love higher love. Who's having a higher love kind of morning already? If you're not, you create it. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. All right. Well, I was going to actually try to Facebook Live it, but my, um, my app's down. Hi, Andrea. I was just in Colorado. I just got home from a week of um, visiting my brother and his new baby twins. They need some love this morning, you guys. One of the babies isn't doing so well. Send some prayer and love if you could. Um, and prior to that, I was out in BC and uh, doing some business trainings. And um, I'm super excited to share with you guys this morning our topic uh, for this special Periscope Pop, our Diamond High Level Leader Pop, is on personal development, which um, is a really important topic for all of us who are business owners. We have probably realized at some point, thank you guys for the love for the babies. <laughs> We've probably realized at some point that our business is directly linked to the rate of development that we personally go through, right? How many of you have noticed this? Tap the screen if you've noticed that when you feel stuck, um, it's often an opportunity for us to increase the amount of development we're doing so that we can actually take our business and our and inspire our leaders to go to the next level because here's the thing about personal development it will always be the best investment you make in your business and it will always impact those that are on a journey with you um, so it's a really great place to focus if you ever feel like you're feeling stuck and this morning I'm spending the first 10 minutes with you and then we're hopping over to Keely and Jackie and Angela and we're all going to share on this topic today and share our um, experiences, perhaps our resources and, um, oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Erin. I didn't know that. So add the save hashtag for Periscope to save it. All right. Just so you guys know, I'm going to actually upload this to my YouTube channel until we figure out um, where we're storing recordings going forward. Okay, so what I wanted to um, first share is how I make personal development a priority because it is definitely going to be one of the first things to come off your list when you feel like you are being stretched for time, right? It's something that when we feel like we have a hundred other things that we should be doing, it's easy to take it off the list. And so first and, and most importantly, I think that we all need to examine our morning routine and how we start off our day. Because if we jump right into our day and start working on the lists that we have or perhaps opening up our email and working on all of the priorities that other people want us to do, we're not going to actually set a tone for our day that allows us to, you know, stay in our flow, right? How many of you have felt days where you have felt like you are just going, 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 you can't even, you know, get ahead of things and you end the day feeling kind of crappy because you just didn't honor yourself for your day, you didn't take charge, right? We've all had those days, myself included. There's always a thousand things to get done, right? So I encourage you to look at your morning routine and establish, you know, what you can do. If you can get up 10 minutes earlier to honor, you know, that time with yourself in quiet, perhaps you're, you're reading something that inspires you, perhaps you're listening to an audiobook, perhaps you're sitting in silence and thinking about what your you know, your business, your life, where you're being guided, that's a really great place to start your day. So what I personally like to do is once I get the kids out the door for school, I really don't try to do anything else before then because I've committed to that. You know, I want my kids to, you know, the whole reason I'm doing this business and, and designing a life that feels great for us is that I don't um, feel like it's ever in the way of what's most important to me. I love my business. I love what I do so much that I probably could work it all day long. I love it that much, but I love my family more. And so I commit to that. So I don't do anything before 9 a.m. Once they go out the door, the first thing I do is I come up to my office. 
I diffuse something beautiful. This morning I just did straight up balance. I love balanced blend. It's, it's a very grounding blend for helping me connect to the kind of day that I'd like to have. So I diffuse something. I put on some music. I have my morning session playlist. If you'd like to look, it's actually available. It's open on my YouTube channel. You'll see um, the music I listen to in the morning. And then I either read something um, or I just sit in, in silence. When I'm beginning my day, I will often put on some kind of inspirational, um, something to do with my business. So, you know, I am in the industry of network marketing, developing leaders, mentoring women as they start their own businesses. So I will listen to something skills-based and then something just inspirational. So I do that every day. Um, and sometimes it could be a YouTube video. Sometimes it's a podcast. Sometimes it's an audiobook. I'm going to share my top phase at the end of this uh, scope. Um, then I go into my day. Now, I do that every day, small little chunks. I also do a longer personal development day on Saturday morning. So when I'm doing my laundry or cleaning the house or doing meal prep, I'll listen to a couple of hours on Saturday morning to really fill up the tank. I take Sundays off. That's really important for going into my week. I've shared that before. Um, but here's the thing. I don't watch TV. I don't listen to the news. I don't browse Facebook more than two minutes. I have a two minute rule. When I hop on Facebook to get something done, if I decide to, look through posts on there, I give myself two minutes, that's it, and then I'm off. So I, uh, I control my feed so I'm not seeing lots of other things because, again, personal development is is a combination of filling your mind and your, your spirit with goodness, high-level, you know, perspective. But at the same time, you have to eliminate the stuff that is going to weigh on your mind and stress you out that you don't need. I don't really care what's going on in the world. I care about what I am putting into the world. So I don't watch the news. My family, you know, thinks that's irresponsible, <laughs> but I see my, my role on this earth as putting goodness out into the world. I don't need to know all the heaviness. And so I control that. And so I, because I don't waste time watching TV, I don't waste time reading the news and getting stressed out. I have extra time to fill my brain. So I, there's rarely a time where I'm doing white space activity that I don't have something going into my mind that's positive. So white space activity, that would be folding laundry, cleaning the house, um, you know, going for a walk outside, maybe even going for a run. Tony Robbins talks about one of the key ways to get into peak state is to change your physiology, to change your focus, and to change your language. So I'm going to share with you a quick story of personal development in my life. And I'm almost, I'm coming up to the end of my 10 minutes already, so I'm going to hammer through this. Years ago, seven years ago, when I first, I was on mat leave. I just, you know, I just had my first little girl, Chloe. I had left my corporate job. I was working, um, I had been 12 years working for Starbucks and um, in operations. And I decided not to go back. And I didn't know what I was going to do because I knew I was so committed to being home with my kids. And um, I was, one fall, we were in Florida. And I was kind of spending more of my maternity leave there. And I, uh, every morning, I was training for my first 10K race, okay? And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to train my brain at the same time. And this is kind of new territory for me. I, I wasn't thinking I was going to be a business owner at this point. Every morning, I listened to this book called Crush It. It's by Gary Vaynerchuk. Have you guys heard of this book? I had it on audio, okay? And I played it every morning when I went for a run. I fused my mind with this, this focus. And it was really about um, knowing that you have a calling on your life and that you have something unique that you are supposed to do in this world that nobody else can carry out. There's another, there's another book out there that, that talks about this concept. It's called Big Magic. When ideas visit you, when you have a calling, you have to honor that. So I ran every morning. I listened to this book and other podcasts, and I literally created the framework for Whole Fit during those morning runs because through movement, through personal development, I started to see my vision come to life in my mind. I kicked off a 30-day challenge on YouTube. Some of you here may have participated in it, and that created my audience. Um, it started to get my, my heart, my purpose out there, you know, to connect with people that thought the way I did. So it's really important that you, if you are feeling stuck in your life, that you take time to develop this. It's the most important thing you will ever do. And for those of you who are building a doTERRA business, for example, every rank is going to require a new you. Every, every new rank that you hit, you won't get to that next rank with the same approach and the same thinking that got you to your current one. What's going to take you there is committing to development. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to share in one minute or less my top three books for you guys, okay? 
So I've already mentioned Crush It. I love this. And Gary has a new one out called Ask Gary V. I think it's really good. He's just like, you know, some people love him, some people hate him. You cannot ignore his brilliance. The other book I love, I know a lot of you probably have read before, is The Desire Map. I'm really huge on choosing how we want to feel, especially in business. This is the feminine of our business. It's more than just goal setting. It's more than just, you know, action plans and rank worksheets. We really want to establish how we want to feel in our business. And honestly, if it doesn't bring you joy, it doesn't matter. You, If you are a business owner, it's because you have decided to live a, a different life. You've committed to that. So this is a great book for choosing how you feel. One of the things she presents in this is that those core emotions you have don't really ever change, Okay. The other two books um, have influenced my business today incredibly. Um, GoPro by Eric Worre, skills-based training. If you are somebody who is trying to have your own business, um, especially in network marketing, which is the primary way that products are distributed today. So if you're not in network marketing, you likely will be within a couple years, okay? Might as well choose doTERRA. It is going to be the company that will be around forever. <laughs> so this book will give you the skills that you need to have confidence in your business. This is key development. I start off every new builder on our team with this training. The last book I want to mention, Start With Why, Simon Sinek. If you do not want to get the book yet, go onto YouTube and find his 18 minute YouTube video that talks about the premise of this book. Here's the, here's the bottom line. You are not here to help everybody. You're not here to sell to everybody or to have everybody join your team. You are here to be there for people who believe what you believe. They are there for you. And so I'm not interested in actually helping people who don't believe um, that their body heals itself, who don't believe in living a higher state of life. I don't even attract those people. I don't attract people who are, you know, fearful of using something natural because they actually don't have the core belief yet, right? So this book really helped me with that. I've got to go, you guys. It's already 12 after. Um, I want to tee up. Um, Angela Via, she is coming up next after me. So on Periscope, Ange, can you quickly type in so they can see your handle? Um, get ready to follow Angela. She's going to carry on. There she is, Five Diamonds. She's going to carry on this conversation. Um, and I just want to leave you with this thought. I love all 214 people that are on the scope. And for all of you watching the recording, I love that you're here because you are somebody committed to living your life with through your fullest highest self and because you develop you you develop us too we benefit from you developing yourself this is such an important topic you guys and if you're feeling stuck you need to spend some time in quiet so i'd encourage you tomorrow to kick off your day with something inspiring find some youtube channels you know that you can listen to go back and watch our scopes i think most of us are storing our scopes mine are right now on youtube if you go to youtube and you type in whole fit or Ange peters you'll find my recordings Mwah. Love you all. I'm going to hop over now and uh, raise the vibes with Inge. Be See you guys soon, okay? Bye.